Yeah. Next up was Britt Baker versus the Joker, who you called it, and I know you were very happy. I'm sure Jordan was happy. I was happy. But I bet you there's going to be some shit talkers out there. And uh, for all of them, we got two fingers for you. Maki Ito is the Joker. Um, and I, I was I was so happy to see her come running out with her microphone and they let her do her full gimmick. I, I love it. I love Maki Ito. Oh, yeah. I think she's so excellent. She's She looks great. Her gimmick is super cool. And it she, she's just awesome. I love the 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 story of her how she's got a steel plate in her head i believe that's part of her story yeah. where it's like why she's got such a hard head is because you know she was a pop star but then she became a wrestler and she has a steel plate in her head from wrestling and, and so she's just got the hard this hard head and like man i i hope it's not a one off i really i really do uh i hope that these were signings i know johnny elite is signed I really hope Maki Ito is signed. I haven't seen any, I haven't seen any like uh, any announcement or anything like that. But yeah, I haven't seen a Maki Ito as all elite yet. But um, remember, Tony Khan did say that both of the Jokers are new signings. So hopefully, she's been signed for some amount of time. I mean, that's true. I'm actually currently scrolling Twitter, admittedly trying yeah. to. Now, I know there's going to be people like, uh, you know, JD from New York. We're both big fans of his now. I know he's not happy with Maki Ito. He tweeted out immediately like, Jesus Christ, why? And, you know, it, it may not be for everybody. Like a whole two-hour show, just like the three hours of Raw and SmackDown, it's not for everyone. But I, I loved it. I love Maki Ito. You know, it's just, it's one of those things. You're either going to love it or hate it. And apparently we love it, right? <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Uh, just a little uh, quick little breaking news for you, um, because you texted me about it before the show. Mm -hmm. So Anthony Bowens was not there tonight. He was not there because he got knee surgery tonight. Oh. Yes, his boyfriend, I believe, on Instagram said it. Do we know why he had knee surgery? We didn't hear anything about any injuries, did we? Uh, he was battling an injury. Um, but he had wrestled since, so I don't know yeah. if maybe the injury kind of got worse or it was like it was re-injured. Well, there um, is there is a knee surgeries that like some quarterbacks go through that it's just kind of like cleaning something out in the knee. So maybe it's like a minor thing. They were just going in there to do something small, but that's very weird to hear about a knee surgery without any sort of uh, you know announced injury. Yeah, it's weird. I'm just, you know, making sure we report on it. So. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Good job. Um, So this was a great match, actually. Um, If you remember any of Maki Ito's matches from, you know, a few years ago, they were just as entertaining, but she wasn't quite as good in the ring. Like, a lot of her, a lot of her punches missed a little bit back then, and some of her spots were a little, a little shaky back then, but I thought this was great. Her and Britt put on a fantastic match. I love the way that they started out with a hug and it looked like Maki was going to lay down for Brit, but then she rolled Brit up. That was so, I, I, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. I was super happy to see that Makito has really improved in the two years since yes. I've seen her last. Um, I, I, it was awesome. Again, I, I hope there's more of her. I want to see more of Makito in AEW. Uh, if not, you know what? I'm gonna figure out a way to watch DDT. I gotta, I gotta figure it out because yeah. I wanna. I think she did. Yeah. No, she didn't start them, right? I believe so. I think she's all over the place, but I believe it's stardom. Um, I don't know. I gotta find a way to watch her shit because I, I, I need more Maki Ito. Dude, the one spot that got me, um, right after the roll up, uh, Britt was like super pissed off because they kind of it looked like they negotiated, you know, her taking the fall. Britt was all mad and walked over and she kind of did the whole forearm slap thing to Maki and Maki stood there like a little, like, like a six year old girl and screamed and cried. She was like, ah, <laughs> I don't know why I loved that so much, but I laughed so hard. I was like tears streaming down my face. <laughs> Again, it's just, it's just such a perfect gimmick. Cause it's Tokyo Joshi pro. Tokyo okay, thank Joshi you. I'm gonna, pro. There we go. Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Um, 
but now I love the gimmick because it's like she's super tough, but then like, like she's doing it to like, she's doing it so she could do the step on the foot, and she does the, the very anime esque like step on the foot, and then like kind of like move like press down and squish your foot, and then flips her off. That's funny you I, say I, that. I absolutely love it. It's funny you said yeah. that because the wife literally messaged one of her friends. She's like, "Are you seeing this? This girl's literally an anime character." <laughs> Yeah, that's her gimmick. She's an anime character. Yep. And like not all the Japanese wrestlers, that's their gimmick, but her gimmick is she's a she's an anime pop star. Like yeah. that's that's what her gimmick is. And I fucking love it. It's, it's amazing. Great. Absolutely great. Um, give me more Makito. Yeah, give me more. The crying was the best, yeah. 